presenter will not meet it this afternoon, uh, so um, the conflict will be scheduled. Um, they're supposed to be presenting the literacy program in San Valles, and the presenter is Ariel Cervantes. So, in the middle of that, we can proceed now with my presentation, which is uh, on game development mechanism. Um, sorry, because I, I, I already have a PDF version of my my papers and my presentation, so I still can't be it. So basically, um, I'm going to talk about uh, on clean development mechanism as my major research when I did my master's in environmental management, a joint program between Ateneo and the University of San Francisco. So, um, the introduction of for the part of the presentation, so I will be presenting uh, the Kyoto Protocolis global carbon market, what clean development mechanism is all about, and its practice in the Philippines, as well as some policy recommendations that are recommended for the uh, being the designated national body. So there is no debate now that climate change is happening all over the world, and the impacts are being felt by developed countries, for example, in the Europe, uh, widespread heat waves and sea rise, uh, the, the sea level rises, uh, the sea is rising. So according to uh, the international community, scientists, um, they uh, concluded in the court assessment report uh, by the International Panel on Climate Change that uh, global warming is already in this, uh, this happening. So I'll talk a bit of science since uh, I would like to have this presentation also as an information and education campaign a climate change um, uh, advocate, I mean. So, uh, climate change is all about enhanced greenhouse effect. Um, normally, the Earth has the natural greenhouse effect, but without it, we can't live on this planet, so we need to maintain certain level of temperature. But what costs, but what, uh, as we develop as a civilization, we tend to increase the capacity of the Earth to um, absorb the energy coming from the sun that makes uh, global warming possible and, uh, and, and, uh, and um, do all these climatic, uh, uh, climatic variations that is happening all over the world. And um, the impacts of climate change will uh, summarize into three. The temperature rise, um, we have observed that, and the sea level rise also. And, as well as the erratic precipitation and the Manila Observatory did um, as an assessment on the impacts of, of climate change in the Philippines and they concluded through this uh, in their study that Malabon will be wiped out uh, in Manila in the Philippines in Manila so because of the sea level rise. And also the the, the C B C P um, also did a study of the impact of climate change in Naga in particular and they concluded that 70% of Naga City will be submerged into bodies of water. So basically, this will trickle down into different uh, impacts on health, for example. We see the uh, proliferation of different um, diseases in agriculture, the viability on, of water, scarcity of water, forest, water resource, coastal areas affected by the sea level rise, and other other impacts such as the uh, loss of, uh, the bio of biodiversity. So this is a global crisis and we need global action. So that's why in 1992 the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change was, um, was developed and um, it took them three years because this is a negotiation between countries so it took them three years to come up with a protocol to um, operationalize the UNFCC. Basically the convention will, the objective of the convention is to bring down the greenhouse gas emissions below, uh, below the 1990 level of developing, of developed countries. Next. So what the Kyoto Protocol will, will do is to bring down the greenhouse gas emissions. So from business as usual scenario, then the government the respective governments of industrialized nations will have their own domestic actions to mitigate that their own uh, in their own countries as well as Kyoto mechanism. 
So we need to acknowledge that combating climate change is an expensive process, and uh, we need a mechanism to make it more cost effective. So if the country, in the illustration below, if the countries, if countries, particularly developed countries, will do it on their own, half alone, so it will impact on their GDP. And for example, if the U.S. sign up for the Kyoto Protocol, it will lose them like um, uh, 2,000 to, to 1 million jobs a year. So it will really have tremendous impact over it. And so with, with, with the trading, so it lessens the impact on the uh, first world countries. So I, let me introduce to you the, 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 what are the mechanisms of the Kyoto Protocol. So these are the uh, international emissions trading, um, joint implementation and clean development mechanism. So basically the international emissions trading is that countries has their own countries, particular developed countries, uh, have their own cuts or, 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 or limits. So if they exceeded uh, the limits, then they need to buy offsets for that. And uh, of course, uh, this, the emissions trading work like a stock market where you trade emission credits. Now for the joint implementation, this is where as, fun, as corporations become more global and, they, and, 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 and their presence is felt in other countries. So they also build projects in industri other industrial industrialist countries and these projects will have emission credits, reduction credits, and but in Magamit now, uh, countries in the invest them. Well, the development mechanism is a partnership between developing countries like the Philippines who do not who, who, do not, who does not have the capacity to uh, to uh, achieve this, uh, de development uh, and uh, with the aid of uh, the developed countries. So next slide please. So the CTM has the SD framework. So this is in the, in the Philippine context that we see to it that all projects in the Philippines has a, 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 a will fulfill the local uh, national SD dimensions. So we look at the very uh, global con context on the international climate policy, as well as how we can achieve sustainable development by stabilizing, st st stabilizing the greenhouse gas emissions. So for my research, I look at capacity to develop international sustainable policies in the Philippines. Next slide, please. So the key concept of CDM is that um, we need to bring down the greenhouse gas emissions in, in, the, in the most cost-effective way, so that will assist developed countries to achieve their targets, and also for developing countries to achieve sustainable development. So, uh, in terms of project intention, this will this should result to real, measurable, and long-term reductions. And there are only qualified project technology that can be uh, classified or be qualified as CDM projects. Next slide, please. So as explained uh, a while ago that um, CDM is a matter of cost effectiveness in terms of greenhouse gas abatement. We have NTEA, which is the developed countries which has greenhouse, which produce more and more of the greenhouse gas emissions that needs the uh, needs credits, for example, if they want to offset their excess emissions. So they will fund and provide technology for um, NTTP, which is like Philippines, who host the CDM projects in our country. And in turn, these projects will generate credits because we reduce the greenhouse gas emissions as compared to it is done in, uh, using the business as usual scenario. So the credits now will be bought by NTTA to offset their credits. So basically, this is the very concept of CDM. So in terms of cost, you can actually see the um, uh, cost in terms of per ton of privatizing equipment. Next slide, please. So in my in my paper, I assess the uh, Philippines' capacity in terms of in, in terms of in terms of CDM potentials as to the economic activity and environmental benefits. Next slide, please. These are the uh, technology options that are qualified for CDM. I highlighted in my presentation since this is my concentration now. So I do handle some methane gas utilization projects here in Philippines. Next slide, please. So these are the countries that needs the credit, um, mostly developing countries. 
during the Kyoto period from 2008 to 2012. And in terms of the carbon, the buyers in the carbon market, so basically these are the uh, developed countries. So they, they need the And this is where the CDM projects are located in the entire in, in the entire world. So uh, it's concentrated in India and in, in China and in Brazil. And you can only see a few dots in the Philippines. Potential, which is what I assess. We have so much potential as far as the mechanism um, concerned the Philippines, which uh, are just waiting to be talked about. And over supply of submission and adoption credits, we have 4,000 projects to provide. The market, there are common markets that are inherent risk of project based scale. In the change situation, technically the DNR is undermined, so the long term of the hand that can facilitate the lot of CDM projects. Expert participation also is a uh, um, uh, critical issue here because most of the because we also have the capacity to assess CDM projects and evaluate CDM for financing. For so if you're in the bank, you don't invest in something that is new and unproven technology. Or right? for example, if the IRR is so is so high, for example, I don't know if, if the return on investment is so high, so we don't actually invest on that. So there, there, there should be a financing scheme for that. And intensifying the capacity development across the country, normally CDM is on the top management country. Nasa country is less than top management. And even trickle down to local government units. And we present this to the local government units. They say, what is CDM? So we need to So it's only in the top management. So we need to trickle it down to the grassroots, even the grassroots. And senior policy policies, we don't have contact. Instruments to promote CDM like local emissions trading or CAR trading internally and promotion of climate change neutral technologies. So basically, this will spur the uh, R&D uh, development of the of this to And in terms of the cost of the emerging competitive in, in the world, so we need to efficiently manage and control the CDM, uh, uh, have a management and con efficient management and control of CDM. On the pricing of the state. I 